just like that. I can't believe it. What are you doing to me? <laughs> Do you realize I spent the entire day preparing arguments for each of your reasons for saying no? No. Dear, and here I am, cheating you out of all that. I'm so sorry. Like hell you are. Just out of interest, why did you think I'd turn you down? Your independence, your reclusiveness, which are legendary. Your snobbishness about television, the weekly grind, money. Please stop me before I talk you back out of it. <laughs> why now? Things change. You don't. You're as exciting as you were the first day I met you. We were good for each other back then, weren't we? Yeah. Well, I know what you're thinking. But it's been four years, you know, since I lost Ellen and the kids. And yes, I, I did spend most of those four years blaming myself for their deaths, or at least not being on the same plane with them, dying with them. No. I don't feel like that anymore. I still have my memories. Oh, yeah. It'd be awful nice to start living a real life again. That's the hard part, isn't it? I'll see you to your door. Oh, no, please, don't go there. Hardly my house on Roxbury, is it? Oh, you sold that. That was a nice house. Yes. Yes, it was. Sabina, are you all right? I will be if Manhattan's a hit. Thank you. Business aside, I'd like to see you again. You know, I'd quite like that, too. The mechanic says you need new bricks. Yeah. <laughs> God, you're so gullible. You believe anything anybody tells you. Look, the brakes are just fine. Now, if you don't trust them, why don't you try staying home for a change? Then it won't matter if they're good or not. 